What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're talking about an upcoming celebration that I have been kind of saying to you guys in previous videos if you guys have been paying attention I've been saying to save your rainbow gems for the upcoming One Piece Film Red celebration and for those of you who weren't around during the Stampede celebration uh, they went kind of crazy. They had basically a whole month dedicated to the film, and I feel like th there's a very good opportunity that that same thing is going to be occurring very, very soon on One Piece Treasure Cruise. So we had this image come out recently, and you can see that Treasure Cruise, something on the 22nd of July, it, it, something's going to appear um, regarding One Piece Film Red. And obviously there was a there was an actual article that talked about it. It says that on One Piece Treasure Cruise, starting July 22nd on Friday, it says the first three titles will start collaborating before the movie is released uh, and it's, it's just talking about a collaboration it says in addition treasure cruise and bounty rush will develop various collaborations inside and outside the game before and after the movie is released so what they're essentially saying is is it starting july 22nd that's when the film celebration is going to be kicking off and not only before the film comes out but also after the film comes out there's going to be uh, film related characters events celebratory events coming out to the game so in this video i want to give you guys a rundown of what happened in the film stampede celebration because it could give us a little bit of a hint as to what we should be expecting moving forward into the film red celebration okay so first of all this is actually the stampede website that debuted there was an english version i just found the japanese version so this is what we're sticking with it's essentially the exact same website but i, I expect us to actually get a film red website for treasure cruise as well hopefully somewhat similar to this and it gave us a bit of a glimpse as to the characters that were coming out so Douglas Bullet was the big character um, for One Piece film Stampede and initially he released as a regular five star and then he came as a six star and then what happened was is that when they initially released uh, this guy Stampede Luffy that's actually when they came out with the super evolution of Douglas Bullet where you know just we, we didn't think anything of it we thought it was gonna be just a six star and that was was it and then they decided to throw a curveball and actually give us a super evolution during the same celebration and we saw this relatively recently when they released legend yamato where you could only pull yamato as a six star character and then a couple weeks later boom they dropped the six star plus of the character and i think that there's a very good very i say there's a very good opportunity but there's a high likelihood that they may do a very very similar thing with um, either uta or a shanks character or a luffy character we don't really know. We don't really know much about the new characters that are in the film at this current point in time. But also, it came out with some other Stampede characters. There was, like, obviously, Fortnite Islands still at the time. So, there's no Fortnite Islands anymore. So, we're probably going to get less characters overall because we got so many characters during the Stampede celebration. Um, these were all free-to-play straw hats you could farm for. Um, you know, pretty typical stuff. I don't think too many of these characters were actually good. But then we ha had, like, the Rare Recruit straw hats. Stampede Luffy came out in a secondary batch along with um, Zoro. Um, we had this Sanji who was actually a free-to-play unit. So, when you actually played the Treasure map when you got a certain ranking you got given copies of this sanji so they might do something similar to that um we had the robin the the actual brook and also the chopper these two characters or these three characters came out with douglas bullet and then the secondary half of the straw hats came out with stampede luffy um i believe uh, Usopp also came out in a really weird situation. I don't remember exactly how the Usopp was distributed, but I remember he had like a bit of a weird one. Um, what else was there? Oh, a bunch of other free-to-play characters that we could farm for. This was the Kizuna Boa Hancock from Stampede. We also had the um, the Supernovas that were fake dual units. Um, these characters you could all farm for, and there were like Super Evolution skulls uh, for... Was it? No, it wasn't Super Evolution skulls. It was like Limit Break materials that were specific for these characters characters in this event so they might do that as well but then again they feel i feel like they've kind of scrapped the whole notion of farming specific materials i guess unless if you count treasure map in a way so i'm not too sure maybe we could get some really cool celebrations to get um the level limit break posters that would be awesome um but then there was also this which was the um the coliseum at the time which was trafalgar law uh so he 
he was a, a Colosseum. Um, obviously, they might have an arena for, for when um, this, the, the film Red stuff comes out. Then there was uh, a couple of Clash events. There was CP0 Rob Lucci as well as the Clash Sabo, and they really kept his silhouette secret because of his uh, really, really cool ending scene of the film. Um, so, yeah, he was another Clash. Lucci was a Clash. And then we had two characters here. Uh, Fujitora was like a point farming event. Um, so, you know, I expect that to probably happen as well. And then the treasure map character for that month was Smoker. So, you can see, essentially, a whole month's worth of content was dedicated to the One Piece Stampede celebration, and I think that that's a very high likelihood of happening once again. Um, there was the, the, this Luffy was a login character, and I completely forgot about this one, there was a brand new ship that was available during this time period, and it's obviously just the Straw Hats ship during the One Piece film, so we could also get something like that to look forward to as well. And then we had, um, I believe this was a free multi-pull, which included, like, movie legends and then we've also got just talking about the uh the stampede sugo fest so that's another thing as well that could be kind of interesting is like movie legends coming back and being at the forefront of the celebration and the thing is none of these movie legends a have a voice um have like voice lines attached to them i think the only movie legend that actually has voice lines attached to it is bullet and obviously luffy himself so it would be nice if they added voices for some of these characters though probably not likely but but, I mean, they don't have super evolutions, so I would love to see them either get a super evolution, and maybe you get the skulls for each of them in different events, like maybe one in Kizuna, one in Treasure Map, one in the Blitz or something. Uh, it would be cool if these characters received level limit breaks. I feel like that's almost a shoo-in at this point. Everyone's kind of expecting the movie legends to receive level limit breaks, but that's the thing as well, is that not only do these legends deserve level limit breaks, but the rare recruits that are attached to them also kind of need level limit breaks. The only rare recruits that are somewhat useful are the ones from the gold batch. The rest of the rare, I mean, I guess Ayn, actually Ayn's very good, um, but like Baccarat, Dice is somewhat useful here and there, um, but like Shiki's batch is just terrible. If the rare recruits actually receive level limit breaks as well that would be a huge huge benefit uh, what else do we have here um and that was basically it so yeah i expect a website like this to probably come out and give us a little bit more information as to some of the characters that are going to be debuting in the film red celebration and we had the two sugo fests so it, it's interesting because douglas bullet he actually debuted on a treasure map sugo fest um, which is kind of funny, he's like the OG treasure map legend, uh, and, uh, th this Sugo Fest was very good, a lot of people at the time really wanted this guy, and the Sugo Fests were not terrible, I mean, the steps obviously are kind of weird and wacky when we look back at it, and remember that every legend was pullable on every banner at this point, these were just characters that were boosted, and then we had, um, I believe it was like a week later or something, yeah, so January 22nd, and this one was, yeah, January 15th, so yeah, a week later, Stampede Luffy debuted, and the Super Evolution for bullet was available i believe did you need like specific skulls to super evolve bullet i think you did can't remember exactly i'm pretty sure you did um so you know with bullet himself with all of this happening he was definitely the forefront still stampy luffy it was still very good and a lot of people really wanted to get him but bullet was definitely the main one that people wanted to get their hands on because he was pretty much like the best legend on release um, because of his rainbow affinity and the fact that normal attacks only wasn't really a thing either. Um, this was before the release of V1 Kaido, by the way, so just to give you a bit of uh, context, yeah, this was a very, very big celebratory event at the time and a lot of people wanted to get these characters. Also, I just noticed that the Chainmail Zora and Sanji, for some reason, were on this banner. That's kind of crazy. Those those two units are actually pretty decent, so it's kind of interesting. But it's just, it's just, it's kind of intriguing because there are lots of really, really cool things that they can do. However, uh, this is, you know, moving into the era of Yoshi, and, you know, Yoshi dealing with a movie celebration, we don't know how it's going to go. We have the previous experiences with uh, with with film stampede and how that kind of went so we hope that it's on the same level as the stampede celebration because that was Extremely high levels of hype in the community with those characters releasing in the game and the fact that we're getting this celebration Alongside Japan this time before you know Japan had it way before global We had to wait quite a long time for these characters to arrive So the fact that we are going to be getting them at the same time is very exciting So I hope they do a really good job I'm, I'm expecting to see pretty big Sugo Fest and another question in, in that kind of same vein is is the Sugo Fest going to be a super Sugo Fest? That's going to be kind of interesting to see. It could be just the same kind of thing that they did with, with Yamato, right? They have like a new batch at the end of the month, at the end of July. The movie debuts on August 6th. 
So maybe on August 6th itself, they're going to have a big Super Sugo Fest that could be what happens, or they could just treat the movie celebration as a regular Sugo Fest. Not really too sure, but leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm super excited for the film Red Characters to arrive in One Piece Treasure Cruise. And of course, whenever we get information regarding that, I will let you guys know in YouTube videos uh, moving forward. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions as to what you want to see. Uh, uh, down below in the comment section and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video